calculate the length of side x on the diagram below. Answer to the nearest centimeter. So let's solve for x. We have an angle here, but we need some more information for this right angle triangle. We need to solve for this side first. So if we can solve for this side, we can use some basic trig. So let's focus on this side here. I'm just going to call this length A. Let's solve for A first. Now again, this is a right angle triangle. We can use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have C squared equals A squared plus B squared. This is my C, the hypotenuse. This is my A, and this is my B. So we have a squared equals c squared minus b squared. What is our c? Our c is 26. What is our b? Our b is 10. So we can solve for a by taking the square root of both sides. So a is going to equal the square root of this value here, which we can use our calculator to solve. So the square root of 26 squared minus 10 squared is equal to 24. So A is equal to 24. So now we know what A is, 24. Now we're trying to solve for X. This is, here is the original question. We have an opposite and we're interested in the hypotenuse. So we write so ka toa. We have the opposite and we're interested in the hypotenuse. So it's going to be the sine. Sine 32 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 24 over x. So here we can cross multiply x times sine 32 degrees is equal to 1 times 24 and then we can divide both sides by sine 32 to solve for x. Please cancel out. Using our calculator x is equal to approximately 24 divided by sine 32 degrees not radians approximately 45.3 now it says here, we're talking about centimeters, but in terms of your answer that you're going to record on the provincial, answer to the nearest centimeter. So we're going to record 45.